History is full of amazing stories, some of which are so unbelievable that they sound like fiction. But these four events actually happened. Imagine you put a woman's name on the voting paper as a joke, and she actually wins. That really happened in America in 1887. Her name was Susanna M. Salter, and she was a mom and a wife from a small town in Kansas. Some men thought it would be funny to make her run for mayor without telling her, because they wanted to make fun of her and the women who wanted to vote. But they were wrong. She got more than half of the votes and became the first woman mayor in the whole country. She did a great job as a mayor, even though some people didn't believe in her. She showed everyone that women can be good leaders too. She inspired many other women to follow her footsteps and get involved in politics. In 1932, Australia had a problem. Thousands of emus, who large flightless birds, were invading the farms of Western Australia, eating crops and damaging fences. The farmers asked the government for help, and the government sent a military unit with machine guns to deal with the emus. Sounds easy, right? Wrong. The emus proved to be very fast, agile, and resilient. They could run up to 50 kilometers per hour and dodge bullets with ease. They dodged bullets, split into small groups, and even learned to recognize the sound of the guns. The war lasted for about six weeks, during which the soldiers fired over 9,000 rounds of ammunition and killed only about 200 emus. The operation was a failure, and the government called it off after a few weeks. The emus had won the war. In 897, Pope Stephen VI had a grudge against his predecessor, Pope Formosus, who had died nine months earlier. He was so angry that he ordered Formosus's corpse to be exhumed, dressed in papal robes, and put on trial for various crimes. Stephen VI acted as the prosecutor, and a deacon had to answer for the dead pope. The trial was a mockery, and Formosus was found guilty. His papacy was declared null, his acts were annulled, and his fingers were cut off. His body was then thrown into the Tiber River, but later recovered by a monk. Stephen the Sex Act backfired, as he was soon deposed and imprisoned by his enemies, and strangled to death in his cell. In 1325, the city-states of Bologna and Modena in Italy were rivals, and often fought over territory and politics. But the spark that ignited a war between them was a bucket. Yes, a bucket. A group of Modenese soldiers sneaked into Bologna and stole a wooden bucket from a well as a prank. The Bolognese were furious and demanded the bucket back. The Modenese refused and the war began. About 2,000 soldiers died in the battle, which lasted only a day. The Modenese were victorious and kept the bucket as a trophy. The bucket is still kept in a tower in Modena and the Bolognese never got it back. <laughs>